Bishop Waltham Palace is on the edge of the South Downs, Hampshire, and was one of the main residents of the Bishops of Winchester. It was a large complex of buildings surrounded by a moat, as seen here. In ruins today, thanks to the English Civil War in the 1600s. In the Middle Ages, Winchester was as important as London, and the bishops were the wealthiest and most influential people below royalty. This palace hosted many monarchs, including Henry V and Henry VIII. The ruins we see today are believed to have been built in 1138 by Henry of Bois. He was the Bishop of Winchester during that period. Over the centuries, the palace was extended and altered and improved by successive bishops. This area is the Great Hall and you can only imagine the ornate stained glass windows that probably beamed the bright coloured shards of light into this huge area. The end closest to the West Tower is where the bishop would have sat presiding from his high table and the rest of the household would have been on long tables down the length of the hall. This would have been the kitchens attached to the Great Hall and you can still see the remnants of the water well. There would have been stables and gardens and a little lake or pond with fish to provide food for the bishop's meals. This long flint building was the brew house and bake house. It was common in the Middle Ages to brew your own beer and bake your own bread. As the local water supplies couldn't be relied on and were probably tainted, it was safer, can you believe, to drink the beer instead. Even the children were given a weaker version. Bishop William of Wickham had this building built in the 14th century. Originally a single story building, in the 15th century, as the palace grew, a second floor was added to provide more accommodation for the bishop's household. This sunken area was the crypt of the chapel that stood here in the 12th century. They demolished it in the 15th century and added a new one right on top, so the fragments you see here are of both chapels. This square of grass with the cobbles around it would have been the cloisters. This is the West Tower. It's hard to make out in the video, but interestingly, there are two layers of the building with an inner and then an outer wall. A much higher tower was added over the original, part of the palace's evolution and a more grand place for the bishop to receive his visitors. At the top of the tower would have been his private apartments. The area around the metal fencing is what remains of the original 12th century door to the hall. There isn't really anything here that resembles that right now.
You can see more English heritage properties, including Stonehenge on our channel, and we're also members of the National Trust, so there's plenty of videos on that too. I hope you enjoyed this short video, and we'll see you again next time.